Hello everyone, my name is Chloe and today I am here with a brand new video. Today I am here wrapping up my reading for the month of November. I say November, but I mean, I've got like a tank top on. So as much as I wanna look like I'm in a cold weather environment, I'm not. It feels like the middle of July right now. But November is over. So we are wrapping up all of my reading. I read a total of 11 books this month. Especially towards the end of the month, I was finishing a lot of stuff in preparation for some vlog videos that you are going to be seeing very soon, if not already. I'm trying to read the top 10 Goodreads Choice Award nominees, so I read a lot of ones that were in the top 20, and we're just going to jump right in and get started. So the first book I completed was The Kiss Curse by Aaron Sterling. This is the sequel to The X Hex, and we are following Gwen, who we met in the first book, and she is the cousin of Vivian, who was the main character of the first one. And then we are also following Wells Penhallow, who is the brother of Reese from the first book as well. I really enjoyed this one. I gave it five stars. I just really liked the, like, cozy Halloween romance vibe that this book gave and I'm very excited for the third book that I believe is coming out next year and I'm thinking it's going to follow the third Penhallow brother. I'm not sure who the love interest would be though. Next I did a gigantic reread because I read Saga Compendium 1 by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. So Compendium 1 is a bind up edition of every single issue of Saga that has been released up through volume 9. Volumes 1 through 9 are all in this gigantic bind up. This thing is huge. It's over a thousand pages. It took me so long to read it. I forgot how dark this series is. It is a very very graphic novel like not safe for work. Very graphic and very violent and I forgot about a lot of things that happened in this series and doing the reread actually helped clarify some things that happened in the series that I forgot about or I was confused on previously. It felt really good to reread it. And right after this I read Saga Volume 10. This is a new release that finally came out. Saga was put on pause I think in 2019 and this is the newest issue to come out with five chapters in it instead of the usual four. This series is definitely going in a crazy direction. I don't even know how to explain it. Next I read The American Roommate Experiment by Elena Armas. I was reading this because I anticipated it being on the Goodreads Choice Awards. Spoiler alert, I was right. And in this book we're following Rosie who is the friend of Lena who we met in the first book. I really enjoyed this one. I gave it four stars. The audiobook was great. I thought the chemistry was really well done and I think I enjoyed it better than the first one. The first one just felt very long. But overall I really enjoyed this one. Next I read Sign Here by Claudia Lux. This is her debut novel and we are following Peyote Trip who works in hell and he's trying to close another deal so he can be promoted in hell. So this is a paranormal fiction which is very different for what I normally read and I thought it was going to be funny based off of the preview that I read when I picked this from Book of the Month. It actually ended up having some really dark moments and a lot of secrets were revealed and I gave it three stars. Again, not something I would normally gravitate to, felt very different than what I was expecting, but the secrets that were revealed were pretty shocking for me, so three stars. Next I read the Booktube Chicks Book Club pick for the month of November and that was The Ark by Tori Henwood Hohen. This book is about a woman who decides to do a new dating service called The Ark and it is a scientifically proven method of finding your scientifically perfect match. I'm not going to talk too much about this because we did do a full live show which I'm going to link in the description below. So in that live show you can get my thoughts as well as Desiree from Libri Labra's thoughts and Kathleen from For the Love of Books thoughts. But overall I ended up enjoying this much more than I thought I would. I'm not a big fan of this cover. It doesn't scream like romance to me as much as some other romance covers do. But overall I gave it four stars. Next I read Funny You Should Ask by Alyssa Sussman. This was another book I was kind of anticipating being on the Goodreads Choice Awards but it was also a book that I just wanted to read. 
This is following a journalist who 10 years ago interviewed an up-and-coming actor who was going to play the next James Bond, and they ended up spending a weekend together. 10 years later, they reunite to do another interview, and everybody wants to know what happened that weekend. Overall, I really enjoyed this book, and I gave it four stars. She does have another book coming out that I do anticipate thinking I will pick up. And overall, it was just an average romance that I enjoyed. Nothing really sticks out to me that much, but I enjoyed it, and I'll be keeping an eye on this author in the future. Next, I read Electric Idol by Katie Robert. So this has been on my TBR for the past couple of months, and it was for a secret theme TBR video that is finally out in the world. It came out right before this video, and that was for my Reading the Alphabet vlog. I was putting the second episode out, and this I was reading for the letter E. I won't talk too much about this because I definitely want you guys to go check out the video, and I'll link it in the description below. But this is following Psyche and Eros, and it is a marriage of convenience. It Katie Robert is definitely one of my new favorite authors, and I really enjoyed this one. I gave it four stars, and I'm really enjoying the Dark Olympus series overall. Next I read Thank You For Listening by Julia Whalen. Julia Whalen is one of my favorite audiobook narrators. You may recognize her voice from some Taylor Jenkins Reid books, from recent Emily Henry books. She just has a really good voice. And this is her book that is following an audiobook narrator. So I'm just going to kind of skim read my review for you guys because I was provided an audiobook from Libro FM in exchange for an honest review. And some of the content warnings I just quickly want to cover are death of a grandparent, attempted suicide, dementia, and accidental bodily injury. So Julia Whalen also narrates this book. And I'm so glad that she did because I definitely think you can get a sense for her character's voices, how she wanted them to be. I really like that it kind of also uh, pulled the curtain back on audiobook creations and how they're recorded. And I'm hoping that they're fairly accurate considering she is an audiobook narrator herself. Overall, I do think the hype for this book is very much deserved and I really enjoyed it and I gave it four stars. And lastly, I'm going to tell you guys about the duology that I binged the last weekend of November. And that is Colleen Hoover's It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us. So I've actually read It Ends With Us before, but I definitely needed a refresher before I picked up the new book. But the hype surrounding this book was huge and well precedented. This is actually the first Colleen Hoover book I've ever pre-ordered. So I was excited. I can't believe it took me this long to finally get to it. But I listened to the audiobook of It Ends With Us, and this is such a heartbreaking story. And it does follow a uh, relationship and also parental abuse. So definitely look into trigger warnings with that before picking this one up. And this is the sequel that basically comes a couple of months after this one. So because I read them back to back, it really felt like I was reading one long book. Overall, I really enjoyed both of these. I gave them both five stars. I'm really glad that Colleen Hoover didn't break my heart as much in this book as she has with her recent books. Amazing. I loved them both. And that is everything that I read during the month of November. So let me know in the comments below if you picked up any of these or what your thoughts were on any of them. Or leave an emoji in the comments below to let me know that you watched this video. I can't believe we're going into December, but it's happening. The year is basically gone. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every week, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. And if you really like my content, consider checking out my Patreon, linked in the description below. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! In the darkness, I don't feel so cold. The ashes fall like rain, and somehow we were okay. A story drifts between shadows and smoke. Thank you.